It's turned out to be a beautiful day, although a little overcast. Um, I've got my dishes in there soaking in some hot water. I boiled some hot water for my dishes. I've got my tomatoes out here trying to absorb some sun. <laughs> what sun there is. It's quite windy. Um, yeah. Tin lion and tin bug are hanging out on the old blown tire there. So good for them. And, uh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure where Rocky is. Although I'm sure he's around here somewhere. I've sealed up a lot of the, uh, a lot of this here. So, he can't really get under here very easily anymore. So I don't think he's under there, although he might be. Um, he's pretty creative and he's a bit of a genius. So he can find a way if he really wants to get under there, he will, I know. He'll figure it out. Uh, no, I really don't know where he is right now. He's not laying over here anywhere. This was his favorite coming and going spot, but I've got it sealed up pretty much temporarily. He may have went under here to get in though. He could still get in that way. Um, yeah. I've got my coat hanging on the line and my, my, my hoodie sweater there because um, they were both damp from the rain last night. I'm gathering up some, uh, some dry wood, some small pieces of dry wood to use um, with my folding, uh, my little folding stove that I have. Uh, in case for some reason I'm unable to use my, uh, is he in here? No, not in here. In case for some reason I'm not able to use my, um, my, uh, oh, isn't that awful? My propane stove this winter. If something happens and I can't get propane, you never know. I could run out of money or I could, um, it may happen that I won't be able to get it. The government may pull another dirty trick and refuse to allow those of us who don't cooperate and obey their mandates to, to buy things or whatever, you know. After everything I've seen, I'm always trying to be prepared for any eventuality. The thing is, once the snow comes, it'll be a lot harder to harvest uh, dry wood. And that's why I want to, to do it now. <clears throat> well, I can. <coughs> um, let's take a walk this way. Let's take a walk this way and see what there is. I think maybe there's some dry wood over here with this tree having fallen down. Small pieces that I can grab up and burn. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> These poor old apple trees have seen better days. Yeah. All right, well, let me go this way. <clears throat> I'm getting um, yeah, I'm getting a bunch of things happening to me health wise, which is a concern with winter coming, but. Still, I'll get through it if I'm supposed to. God will see me through um, if I'm supposed to get through it. And if I'm not supposed to get through it, well, then I suppose it won't really matter. But uh, I'm definitely um, having kind of a bad time right now, health wise. But, uh, a lot of things happening. Huh. All right. This looks like it's dead stuff here. It has to break really easily or it isn't dead. Oh, this is dead for sure. Yeah, this is definitely dead. We'll take this. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll take this. This stuff will burn nice.
Oh my goodness. I wonder if our chicken has gone. The chicken I left here. Yeah, it's all gone. Something got it. I hope the crows got it because it's really the crows that I leave it for, but of course I have no control over that and I have no way of knowing for certain. See, all this stuff here is dead. Yeah, it's all dead. Ah. You get that you can kind of tell by the feel, even when you put your hands on it, if it's alive or dead. This is dead here. Yeah. That looks dead, and it is. Yeah, see that? <laughs> see, that just fell apart. That's definitely dead. It's a piece to have. There's a piece there that's dead, too. Yeah. All right. Well, let me take this over and break it up into small pieces. I can only carry so much at a time in my hands. Perhaps I should bring some sort of a container over, but then I have to carry, okay, I have to carry that back. I got dripped there. <laughs> I have to carry that back. No, oh, I'm, uh, like I say, uh, uh, it's a beautiful day today anyway, and I'm going to take as much advantage of it as I can. Um, like I say, I'm not feeling the greatest, but I've got a bunch of things going on that aren't great. But, uh, still, um, I'm just going to push myself and do whatever I can do. Get as much done as I can while I can. Whatever allows me. Oh gosh, it's all joined up there with the thing on the jigger. There we go. Okay. Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> Mine just go up around all this stuff. And that's what happens then. This vines grow all up around it. Yeah, it's a good piece though. I can break it up and add it to the mix. Once I start using that stove, if I do start using it, I'll burn a lot of this. I will. In a hurry, I know that. What seems like a lot really isn't a lot. Because it goes through this stuff pretty quickly. Okay, let's get it all broke up here. Nice apple wood. Old apple tree wood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to fix myself something to eat, too, because I feel like I should eat something. Huh. I don't go back to work at the neighbor's, at least until Sunday, but this is a busy time of year for them. Um, they're connected with the Royal Canadian Legion, of course, with Remembrance Day coming up. Um, it's very... It's a very uh, busy time of the year with poppy fun and different things like that that they, they are, are involved in. Um, and so, there's work to be done over there, but that'll have to be done later on. Like I say, I'll get some stuff done on Sunday when I'm there, if it don't rain or anything. If it rains, that'll mess me up for being able to do anything. You can hear the gunshots. There's hunters in the woods. Or maybe you can't hear them. I don't know if the microphone is picking them up. Yeah, they're shooting at something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's a lot of gunshots. If you haven't hit it by now, then maybe you need to let it go. Hey, um, I don't have a problem with hunters. I know people who do, but 
I actually don't mind hunters, um, provided that they behave ethically. Not all of them do. Uh, I respect the ones who do, though. Uh, got a lot of respect for the hunters who, um, you know, who, who do behave ethically. And like I say, I've known lots who didn't, and I've known lots who did. And to the ones who did, I have they have my respect, you know, the ones who do behave ethically. Um, but yeah, I've never been a hunter myself, though. I did fish when I was young. I used to be quite a fisherman. I used to be able to catch a rock bass and clean it and eat it, cook it up and build a little fire and eat it. When I was like six, seven, eight years old, I could do that. I've still got my old fishing rod from back then. It's one of the few things that I owned back then that I still have. Um, I remember when I was in high school, I got pretty mad because I lent my fishing rod to one of my friends from in high school. And uh, it was in the back of the, of, of, of the family car, the, the family, his family owned the 1979 Chev Caprice sedan, a blue 1979 Chev Caprice. There he is. There's Rocky just blending in there. And um, anyway, they traded it in on a new Ford Crown Victoria. This was like in the mid 80s. And they left. Um, he left, he'd left my fishing rod in the trunk. I'd been after him to return it and he was always going to and then he never did. And then the fishing rod got left in the trunk <coughs> and the car got traded in with the fishing rod in it. And I remember I raised hell over that until I got the fishing rod back. Um, and I remember I was kind of criticized for that. Anyway, I was told that I shouldn't be that way. But I wanted my damn fishing rod back. I had lent it. I hadn't given it away. I had lent it. And I wanted it back. I did. I wasn't fishing anymore, but it was a keepsake from my childhood, you know. And I wanted it back. And so I raised hell until I got it back. His dad had to go down to the dealership where the car was. And um, it hadn't been sold yet. It was sitting on the lot and it hadn't been sold. And his dad had to go down there and talk to the salesman and I get the fishing rod back. It was still in the trunk. It had been left in the trunk and it was still there. So anyway, I did get it back, but I remember I kind of, I kind of, uh, I made, I, I made a few enemies by, um, pushing like I did to get it back. But it seems like that's how the world is, you know, that's kind of how you have to be sometimes, and it's too bad. I can hear the shooting again. <laughs> They're after something. If they don't manage to shoot it to death, they might scare it to death. I don't know. <laughs> something, something will be back there running for his life right now. I don't know. When I hear that many gunshots, it tells me something's off anyway. When I hear that many gunshots all at once. Unless they're practicing, they may be sighting in a, a weapon or something like that. That could be. But if they're shooting at, at something, they're, shoot, they're shooting at some game. Uh, that just seems like... I mean, gr gr bear in mind, this is coming from a guy who doesn't hunt, but who um, knows and has known a lot of hunters. And also a guy who's been around the woods when hunting was going on so you get that you kind of know what's normal and what isn't and um, that many gunshots in a row at the same time like I say unless they're sighting in a weapon or something like that it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me if they're shooting at a, at a target what an, that must mean they keep missing it or or something I don't know but like I say, they may be sighting in the wet. There it goes again. They must be... They got to be practice target shooting or sighting in a weapon or something, I think. 
they can't possibly be shooting at something. That doesn't make any sense. They must be either target practicing or, you know, you know, fine tuning a weapon, basically, what they call sighting it in. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this back. Because if they're shooting at, <laughs> at a deer or whatever, I don't know what season it is right now. But if they're doing that, that's kind of excessive. You know, I mean, you're either going to hit it or you're not. So, anyway. Oh, crazy world we live in, anyway. Now, what I need to do next... What I need to do next... I haven't been able to get another block of ice... Still, it's maintaining it pretty cold in there right now, but what I need to do next is I need to get me some, something to eat, and I haven't decided what that's going to be yet, but you know what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm having kind of a wicked thought here. Well, not, not really wicked, but... It sounds in intriguing when I say wicked. What I'm thinking of doing is, uh, uh, there we go, we'll dump all that crap out. We will, yeah, we'll do that. We'll wipe this pot out here so that I don't have to wash it before I use it. Well, we'll stick that in there, I guess. Uh, Get most of this residue of rainwater and uh, other crap out of it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yep, and we'll throw that away. Uh, and uh, some water in here. <laughs> Rocky is quite the stealthy cat. He is right... He's right there. Looks like he's just like a rock or something or a little boulder or something on, in the grass. But it, that, that's Rocky. It's not a rock. It's a Rocky. Is what it is. Yes. Yes, it is. He's tough as a rock, though. Yeah, there's more of this in here. Yes. Okay, now I'll put this back here. What I'm going to do, oh, wait a minute, i got to light the fire here. <laughs> there it goes again. Bam. All right. <laughs> yeah, they must be. They must be doing target practice or something. It doesn't make any sense otherwise. You'd never hear that. Yeah, you'd never hear that many shots if they're just uh, if if they're if they're if they're hunting something. You'd never hear that many shots. Okay, now is it is it lit? Ah, anyway. I'm having a debate on Facebook with a bunch of feminists about um, abortion, and according to them, women have no civil rights and and so on like that. Women are, are victims, and that uh, a woman should be allowed to should and a man shouldn't have any say. Men shouldn't have any say over these things and uh, all the rest of it. It only affects women, apparently. Yeah. I don't know, when people are killing their babies, that kind of affects society. There are men that have murdered their children, and uh, there's nobody saying that uh, a woman shouldn't have an opinion about that. I certainly wouldn't say that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> anyway, it's craziness. Quite a world we live in. All right, we'll see you later.